Humera, Stellara. Which one is gonna be better suited for you? Let's talk about it. All right, full disclosure here. I am not a medical professional, but I am just an ordinary guy who's been diagnosed with an IBD, namely ulcerative colitis. And I've had some severe issues with it in the past. So I can talk about my personal experiences with the injections uh, from a logistical standpoint. Let's, let's first talk about the similarities of these two medications. First of all, Humera and Stellara are both biologics, which means you don't take them orally. They're injections. They come in, in these needles that you inject into yourself. They both come from a specialty pharmacy uh, in a cooler because they have to be kept refrigerated. Once, once you get them, you have to take them out, put them in the refrigerator and, uh, until they're ready to be used. So that's about where the biggest similarities end. I was prescribed the Humera first and it I think you can see from the picture yeah there we go all right so the Humera comes in this pen as you see here um, it, it it's uh, it's a preloaded syringe it's basically just this, just this that's all it is and you got a red cap here you push that to inject the, uh, the medication it's very simple very easy to do this is done every two weeks so once you get prescribed this, the first thing they're going to do is a loading dose. And that's going to, they're going to have two of these. That's usually, that's how it worked for me. There were two of these that you had to have injected. Now I'd never done this before. So I went to my doctor's office and he showed me how to do it. He did the first one himself. And then I did the second one. That's the loading dose. And then two weeks later, I got one of these to inject in, into myself and I did it at home. No problems. It was pretty easy to do. Now, on the other hand, the Stellara, when I was prescribed that, that medication is done every eight weeks. So every two months, you inject this. As you can see, it's a, there we go. It's, it's quite a bit different. It's an actual syringe. And I, uh, I got videos down below. I'll put the link down below to show you how that is done. These are prescribed every eight weeks is when you do the injections. Now, the first injection, just like with Humera, is considered a loading dose. And so that, I ended up having to go to an infusion center, it's a clinic, uh, where they actually inject the medication into me through an IV. So that was a little more extensive. It, it took about 45 minutes to an hour to complete the process. Once that was done, then I went ahead and ordered my next dose, which would be for eight weeks later. And the next dose came in a syringe. As you can see, it's quite a bit different from the pen. The, the pen was easy to self-administer because you just stick it in there, you push the button, the needle goes in, injects the medication. There's an indicator window that tells you when it's done. When it's done, you just pull it out, cap it, put it in a sharps container, no problem. This, as you can see, is quite a bit different. It's more of a syringe with a needle that you stick in and you use the plunger, you use your thumb to insert the medication into your skin and then you pull it out. Once you pull it out and you remove your thumb from the plunger, it retracts. You can see this one's already been used. So the needle, you probably won't be able to see the needle. You might be able to. The needle is right there. It's been retracted. Once it's in inserted, uh, once the medication's complete, uh, and you remove your thumb from the plunger, the needle will self-retract, and then you just throw that away into the sharps container. So as you can see, they're two very different medications, but they do basically the same thing. They're biologics that's supposed to shut down inflammatory uh, conditions. Uh, the Humera, my experience with the Humera, after about, I don't know, six weeks, after about three or four doses, it started to improve. Uh, a little bit but then I developed antibodies for the Humera and it stopped working altogether. That's when I got prescribed the Stellara. I've only had two doses including the, the infusion. I've had one self dose and then the infusion that was done at the clinic and since then my symptoms have greatly improved. Uh, the Stellara seems to be working much better for me than the Humera uh, but they are trade-offs as you can see. The Humera is easier to inject. It's, it's much easier to self inject. The Stellara, if you're squeamish with needles, you may have a few issues with it because uh, it is a syringe. But now, you do have the option, at least they gave me the option, of going back to the infusion center 
uh, so they could do it themselves. Uh, so I guess you could always do that if you feel too squeamish about doing the needles yourself. Uh, but like I said, that's done every eight weeks. So that's not as bad as the every two weeks with the Humera. But you know, as, you, as you can see, there's the trade-offs. One's a little easier to self-inject than the other. Um, I, I'll be sure to link those videos in the description down below. But hey, while you're at it, why don't you go ahead and click that like button for me and subscribe. It would really help me out, help me grow this channel to get this information out there for other people who may need to see this information. It's free, hit the like button, subscribe, I would appreciate it. Uh, but like I said, that's my experiences with the two biologic medications. That's the only, there's a lot of other ones out there, but that's the only two that I've had experience with so far. Thanks so much for watching, and uh, until next time, I'll see you soon. Hey guys, while you're at it, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe to help out my channel. I would really appreciate it. Thanks so much, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.